Hey YouTube, it's Hunters, and I just got done mounting the wheels to my new Beetleweight BattleBot or Combot or ro Combat Robot, whatever you want to call it. It's a robot that fights in an arena against other robots. Um, so I got a lot of feedback and some comments uh, on my other test videos, and I really, really appreciate that. I took a lot of what you guys said to heart and took it into consideration, and a lot of it I followed through with. So let's start with uh, some of the changes I made. Um, one thing I was told to upgrade to a 3-cell, and I've done that, um, an 11.1 volt LiPo. What ends up happening when I was in my last video that I uploaded was I was using the 3-cell, and it ended up killing my uh, speed control for my weapon. I'm not going to blame the battery, because the weapon works now on this new speed controller, which is the same one. The speed controller is actually rated up to 4 uh, cells, so I can chalk it up just to it being cheap. Um, what else I got is uh, I was told not to stress out the shaft so much on the finger tech motors. Um, so I've got two bearing blocks on them now, and I upgraded to these light flight wheels. Uh, I originally stayed away from the light flight wheels because they were foam, and I didn't expect to have much traction, but I was very dip wrong with that. I was originally using these Tamiya wheels, which have a rubber tread. But the reason why they stuck out so much on the shaft was because the hub is very, very small. And I'll show you the amount of traction these things get. Uh, decent, but they mostly they mostly just get pushed around. Um, these light flight ones took me by complete surprise. I thought people were using them just to uh, get a weight advantage because they're, they're very light because they're foam, but no, these actually, they have a lot of traction, so that's really, really cool. Um, I was also asked why does it turn so slow. For multiple reasons, their tires were very far out, they were very wide, uh, it was a two cell battery, and also I didn't re recalibrate the speed controller. It was still set up for some uh, Tamiya batteries, it's Tamiya motors that I still had. Um, so now I guess I'll uh, show you my uh, robot. I'll go ahead and turn the Allen key. It's wrong way. Uh, JK. Turn. Power lights on. I could hear the radio, the ESC beeping. Turn on my radio. And I'll show the saw now to have it hooked up to the throttle. Um, and now I got an ant weight over there that I built back in 2002. And uh, it's base made out of a modified BattleBots RC. So let's see how much push power I got. You can see the turning radius is a lot better than it was in the other video. And this is in the high high gear. I can uh, go down, shift down a little bit. If you're going to build an insect battle bot, I really do recommend these uh, light flight wheels. They come in a variety of sizes. They're very lightweight and they're very easy to mount. Um, because I got some larger wheels in my Tamiya ones, my robot is actually inverted, invertible now. Which was part of my design originally. Power LEDs will be able to be seen through the uh, polycarbonate, so that's all good to go. Um, so yeah, that's my Beetleweight BattleBot. Uh, I just need to mount the top armor on, and it's going into the box to be shipped off to Seattle. If you're going to be uh, either watching or competing at Kirkland Bot Battles, go ahead and leave me a comment. That way I uh, say hi, <laughs> and uh, hopefully I see y'all there. Have a good day.